Hey guys, in this video we will see uh, on how we can remove bloatware from your android phone. So nobody likes bloatware. So if you see my brand new Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, uh, we have uh, these bloatwares from Samsung and from AT&T. And by default you cannot even disable or uninstall some of those apps. That's pretty annoying. So in order to remove that there is an app in play store called bk package manager it is 2.5 dollars it's not a free app but it's definitely worth checking out so once you install this app when you open this you'll see that the apps are divided into different sections the first one is called installed this is basically the, the list of apps that you downloaded from the play store these are not pre-installed apps so you can uninstall these apps by yourself. You don't need to go through this uh, BK Disabler app to do that. So the next section is bloatware. So this app by default identifies some of the apps as bloatwares and it is safe to disable all these apps. So if you're using any of these, you can leave it. If not, you can just check uh, the, uh, the checkbox to disable uh, these apps. So you can safely disable all these apps. The next tab is system and here it's not recommended to disable any of these apps as it might uh, hamper the operating system or the day-to-day -day use of these phones. But there are certain apps that I know for sure is not gonna cause any problems like the AT&T apps which I'm sure I can disable. So there are other apps as well like briefing which i don't use cnn or email or the default internet app that i have so i don't need any of these apps and you can mark your apps as favorites if you want you can just click on the star and it will mark as favorite and there are filters available here you can just uh, view all your disabled apps which is a good feature and the best thing is you can import or export all these uh, as XML format. So let's say once you have disabled all the apps and you know that everything is working fine, you can export that as an XML and save it in your phone and you can even email it to yourself. So uh, and then you can even import uh, files that are available uh, like say in XDA forums and then you can use that XML and disable all the unwanted apps. One very important thing to note is that if you are doing any system updates, you need to enable all these apps and then after the update is complete, you can use the Excel that you have exported and you can import it and you can disable the apps once again. But make sure you enable all the apps before you do any system update. And once you have removed it, you can see those apps won't be available in your list anymore. So as you can see, uh, this will only disable the apps, it won't uninstall the apps, so the memory will still be used, but it won't use any RAM that you might want to use for other applications. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more such videos.